My name is Sarah Schmachtenbeck. I'm head of data and analytics for Europe and the United States for Galen Growth. Galen Growth is a partner for Future for Care, and we're looking into women's health and digital health solutions for women. At Galen Growth, we look at femtech um, through the lens of therapeutic focus areas. We call it um, digital health solutions in women's health. So focusing on women's health and the therapeutic focus areas um, being obstetrics, gynecology, hormonal health, um, and women's, um, women's cancer, women's oncology, um, and the therapeutic focus areas that focus on women. Galen Growth Create report on women's health and digital health um, because it's, it's a huge growing topic. There's a lot of hype around it, there's a lot of excitement around it, and that excitement is being driven by the, the growth and the volume of digital health ventures. Um, new ventures, new solutions are creating a lot of excitement and pulling a lot of uh, venture financing to them. The report focuses on five topics. First of all, what is women's health and digital health? Second of all, what, what is growing? Where, is, where are the ventures growing and how fast are they growing? Um, we look at the venture funding that's fueling that growth and then understanding what are the solutions that are being brought to the market. The fifth and final point of the report is what's next? How's the market going to change in the next few years? What's really exceptional in this area is the growth of ventures over the past five years. Um, and the growth, this growth of ventures has far outpaced the growth of any other therapeutic focus area within digital health. And that, by that I mean the five-year CAGR of um, women's health ventures globally has reached 12% um, in 2021. Compare that to the global um, five-year CAGR of digital health ventures in general. The overall global CAGR, five-year CAGR of digital health ventures is 6%. So as you see, there's, this area is growing double so fast as the general um, area. And if you want to look particularly into Europe, because um, we're here sitting in Europe with Future for Care today, um, Europe, that growth rate is even 17% in women's health. So it's even higher than the global average. It's an area that's exploding with ventures and exploding with new solutions for women. And that um, those new solutions for women are really bringing new options for women to empower women to take control of their health and to make decisions about their health. The growth of digital health ventures is being fueled mostly by venture capital. Um, as we know, last year, venture capital and digital health broke records globally, right? And women's health was no, um, was no exception. And therefore, that venture funding is really propelling very small seed stage ventures to come out of um, hiding, to, to begin um, really building their PR and getting their solutions into market. And it's, um, it's absolutely fantastic. The global funding in women's health reached $3.75 billion. Um, and that's about 9% of the total global funding for digital health, right? So 9% of all funding in digital health is now going to women's health ventures. Um, and that is propelling then this, um, this extreme growth within women's health um, that we're seeing. Globally, 25% of all digital health, women's health ventures are looking into solutions in medical diagnostics. Um, and medical diagnostics includes um, medical imaging, it includes ultrasound, and a lot of these solutions are focusing either on um, women's oncology areas or even the ultrasound solutions for um, gynecology solutions. Next, let's talk about the different solutions for women's health ventures. Galen Growth has a taxonomy that looks specifically at digital health. And that taxonomy is how we talk about the different solutions. We talk about solutions in clusters, and we talk about under each cluster are different categories, right? So understanding the solutions that are being offered um, gives you deeper insight into the products that are available. Um, within women's health and digital health globally, 25% of ventures globally are focusing on medical diagnostic solutions. And those diagnostic solutions include um, diagnosis tools, um, omic diagnostic tools, as well as medical imaging and image processing software. How, and those are the products that are being developed, mostly to look into therapeutic areas such as um, women's oncology or um, women's or in gynecology, um, as far as looking at ultrasound, um, obstetrics, and those types of 
solutions. The second most popular category is patient solutions. Patient solutions includes um, disease management. It also includes on-demand on lab testing. Um, and we've especially seen um, over the past month, actually over the past two months, there's a significant amount of merge and acquisition um, within that on-demand lab testing space. Um, something else to keep an eye on this year. Um, and the third most popular solution is then in the wellness area. And wellness, when we talk about wellness, we're talking about a lot of preventive solutions and how women keep themselves healthy and keep them and those around them healthy. If you want to look at just within Europe, those categories change just a bit. Um, Europe, the, for the top three categories are actually sp spread out equally. And, um, and they are the same, the same categories we just talked about with um, wellness solutions on the top. And those wellness solutions, actually they include as well um, hormonal tracking. So period trackers or fertility solutions that help, um, help a patient or help a woman track her hormonal cycles in order to um, improve her health in that direction. But you also have wellness for nutrition, wellness for um, other types of um, women-related illnesses. The second solution in Europe here is medical diagnostics, which we talked about, including medical imaging and um, patient solutions. Um, we talked about that when that was actually um, number two globally. Finally, in the report, we look at where's women's health going, right? What are the next step and what's the future going to bring? Indicators are quite clear. What we have, what we've seen are a growing number of ventures and in particular, a growing number of ventures that are reaching higher maturity levels. As a venture grows, as it gains funding, it, it puts products onto the market, and as well, um, it, it gains um, expert people in its, um, its management team, it matures. And the, the global maturity level of digital health ventures for women's health is, is very much increasing. Um, within Europe, it, the maturity is still at a lower level, but the global levels are increasing. Um, and once ventures reach a certain, certain maturity level, they're ready to move beyond their own portfolio. And what you have is then the perfect storm because the venture funding that's currently pouring into women's health is then giving them the means to do that, right? With, with a maturity level plus additional cash on hand, these ventures then are able to start um, either a horizontal um, acquisition or a vertical acquisition in order to um, broaden their own portfolio. Um, in particular, in digital health right now, one of the hot topics is platforms. We've seen, um, in particular, the, the acquisition of um, Simple Health acquiring Emma just a few weeks ago, right? Simple Health is a telemedicine platform um, focusing on, on um, reproductive health, and they've acquired Emma, and Emma is then offering a, um, a smart pill box for hormonal pills. And so this then um, integration of Emma into the telemedicine is then creating a platform for women's hormonal health and it, it allows them to then cover more aspects of their health needs. So again, um, what we have is this perfect storm of maturity plus funding coming in and um, the number of acquisitions just this year has, um, has increased significantly. Um, as well, we've seen Femtech Health as a good example, a very new venture on the scene, but they've already started um, collecting a portfolio, um, partnering with Genius RX um, in order to include not only solutions for women's health, but then also the online prescription um, services to go with it. It'll be very exciting to see within 2022 what happens with women's health and the platforms that are being built. Galen Growth is looking forward to publishing as well research on platforms in digital health and understanding how these platforms are being formed and what are the components needed in order to create a platform. Join us on March 8th to support International Women's Day and to help empower women in making choices about their health.